Nabili house painting, the art of the Nabili tribe of South Africa. The Nabili are a tribe of South Africans. They are originally from Gauteng, Umpumalanga and the northern provinces near Zimbabwe. Since the mid 18th century, the Nabili tribe has been painting whole villages with these geometric, brightly coloured patterns. Originally, the patterns were tonal and painted with the women's fingers. The original paint laid down on the house was a limestone whitewash. The colours added to make the paintings were mostly natural pigments consisting of browns, blacks and different types of brown. Nowadays the patterns and symbols can be seen to be rich black outlines and a vivid colour inside. There are five main colours represented in these wall paintings. Red, dark red, yellow to gold, sky blue, green and occasionally pink. The colour white is always used as the background because it makes the bright patterns stand out more. The women of the Nabili are often the tradition carriers and the main developer of the wall art of their home. The tradition and style of house painting is passed down in families from generation to generation by the mothers. A well painted home is a sign that the female of the household is a good wife and mother. She is responsible for painting the gates, the front walls, the side walls and the interior of the home. First, the women whitewash the mud walls of their huts. Then, the geometric patterns and shapes are first drawn in with a black outline and later filled in with colour. The patterns are grouped together throughout the walls based on their basic geometric design. The women use different tools for different parts of the design. They have large flat tools that cover a large area for the areas of bright colours and much smaller, finer, more delicate tools for the lines and the edges. With the advancement of technology allowing them more accurate tools, the women have been able to make their designs more complicated. But why do the Nabili paint their houses like this? Until the late 1900s, the Nabili people were a very fierce warrior race and large landowners. In the autumn of 1883, they went to war with their neighbouring Boer workers. The loss of this war brought on a harsh life and hor horrible punishments for the Nabili, who were forced to work for the Boers. Through these hard times, expressive symbols were generated by the suffering people expressing their grief. These symbols were the beginning of this African art form known as Nabili house painting. These expressive symbols were used as a type of communication between subgroups of the Nabili people. They stood for their community and cultural resistance to their current circumstances. The Boer farmers did not understand the meaning of the symbols and only saw it as a cultural art that was not harmful, so it was allowed to continue. These wall paintings done by the women of Nabili were their secret code to their people, disguised to anyone but other Nabili. The vibrant symbols and expressions portray communications of personal prayer, self-identification, values, emotions and marriage. The colours intensify this meaning for the Nabili. They can mean status or power of the homeowner. They can offer a prayer, announce a marriage in the home, or can even represent a current protest. The wall paintings of the Nabili women tell the story of their family history, past and present. Continuing to paint them is their way of keeping the Bealey culture alive.